welcome everyone. My name is David Fraser. I'm one of the founders of Bunky Life. For the next little bit, you've got my attention. I'm going to be here live. I'm going to sing a song or two. We're going to talk about what is a bunky. And then we're going to take questions. You can live chat them if you're tuning in over Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. Twitch, all of the above. I'll be here answering questions. If you're here and you're live with me, comment. I'd love to see your thoughts, your comments. Your song requests. You said it's cold outside, she hands me a raincoat. Always worrying about things like that. Well, she said it's all gonna end, and it might as well be my fault. Hey, Donna, it's uh, Suk Schultz. Welcome. She only sleeps when it's raining, and she screams, and her voice is straining. She says, Baby. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. Well, heaven, she says, baby, yeah. But I can't help but be scared of it all. Sometimes things gonna wash away. I believe it. Yeah. So Donna suck. <laughs> Donna suck Schultz. Waves high. How's it going, Donna? Somebody, Facebook user, says, I need the Bunky bad. She's got a bad case of the Bunky blues. Arthur Robinson, currently at the cottage. That's awesome. So Devin G says, hello. What is this live stream for another contest? Well, I'll get into that. So there is a contest, but it's for Michiganders. See, the whole winter I got all these emails. Why are you doing one for Michigan? Why, is, why not Michigan? So this is for Michigan only. I've got the red, white, and blue behind me. So this is a Michigander, but hey, if you're if you're if you're in Canada or wherever you are in the world, it's going to be an interesting, fun, interactive live stream tonight. So stick around. But if you're from Michigan. Yeah, you, there's a lot to learn because it's it's the first only Michigan only contest. She's gotta believe in something, and God is better than nothing. Color portrait wall, she believes that she's got it all. She thinks that happiness is a mouth that sits on the doorway. Yeah. She only sleeps when it's raining, and she screams, and her voice is straining. She says, "Baby." Be scared of it all oh, sometimes. gonna wash away. I believe it. Hello, Ciara Hernandez. Welcome. Facebook user says, I put my bunkie in the side yard. Cool. And someone else says, This is my first live stream. Well, welcome. Jan says, I'm putting my bunkie in Rockwood. Well, that's. Very close. If you're talking about Rockwood, Ontario. Don says, surprise live stream. Yes, yeah, surprise. Surprise, if you're not from Michigan, this is a complete surprise. But if 
you are from Michigan, I, pr I tried to email everybody today. We are doing an account contest right now for Michiganders only. Dina Ball says, have you shipped anything to Fallon? Actually, we got a truck going to Fallon, I think, this week. Or la no, le left last week, so yes. Someone says, I put my bunkie up in the ca cabin in the yard by the fire pit once my youngest son moves the trailer out of there. Sierra, tuning in from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Welcome, Sierra. So this, this contest is for Michiganders, that's true. Sherry says, if I was to win, I'd get a bunkie for my cousin's property in Mikado so we can have a place to visit. That's awesome. That's what we're all about. Extra space for more meaningful connection. Kirsten from the UP. Welcome. I love people from the UP. They, they feel very Canadian up there. Keith says, I've got a beauty spot for it on Mantulan Island. That's awesome. Neftali says, hello. Hello, Margaret from Ellsworth, Michigan. Welcome. Kim says, do you sing all types of music? I am not going to gangster rank. I'm not going to gangster rap for you. But I can do a lot of things. All right, we're going to get started in just a few seconds. But uh, someone says 20, 120 acres. That's amazing. All right. Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's fantastic. Yeah, two Grand Rapid, Rapidonians today. Someone asked, can I get one with a wood stove? Yes, there's some wood stove options. Another UP here. Welcome, Aaron, from the UP. Jason from Saginaw, that's fantastic. We got another Michigander. Nowago, Michigan. Caro, Michigan. So, Charlevoix, Michigan. I'm not sure where that is. Charlevoix. Where's that, Margaret? Oh, Battle Creek, Michigan. That's fantastic. I love Battle Creek, Michigan. So I heard you play the verb pipe. Maybe we can play that later. But we gotta get this live stream started. So I'm gonna put the guitar away. We'll be right back in two seconds. It's gonna be a wild time if you're from Michigan. It's gonna be great. You could win a bunkie at the end of this month. If you're not, you're not eligible, but it'll still be a fun live stream. So stick around. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm David Fraser, founder of Bunky Life. We're in the building industry, but what we're famous for are small log cabins called bunkies that can be easily built in a weekend without a permit or a second mortgage. Ultimately, we help our clients create extra space for more meaningful connection. Yes, we help our clients get a cool bunkie, but if you think it's just about the bunkie, you've already missed the point. Really what this is about is creating the space and time for more meaningful connection, and having a bunkie is just part of that journey. It's not just about the space, it's about what happens in the space, how it enables more connection. It allows you to spend that quality time with family and friends. It allows you to be there for each other in both senses of the phrase. We are the market leaders in educational videos and content as we pioneer this growing industry. Our goal is to be the go-to source for fun, friendly, and helpful advice for families, whether they buy from us or not. Our core offering is an easy to build or built for you Bunky Kit that helps our clients create extra space for more meaningful connection. We're proudly Canadian made right here in Ontario. The bunkie is often the difference between that friend or family member coming or not, being there for each other or not. The reason we do this is because we believe family comes first. And when it comes to being there for each other, there are no do-overs. That's one of the reasons we've decided to partner with Ronald McDonald House Charities of Canada in their goal of keeping families close. Because ultimately, we want to bring about a world where families everywhere have a place to unite, unwind, and unplug. I get up every morning excited to help families create extra space for meaningful connection. Thanks for listening, and can't wait to hear from you. All right, everyone. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what the heck is bunky life. What is a bunky? If you're, if you're new to the whole agenda, which a lot of the Michiganders are, You'll be like, Who's, what is this crazy company um, from just north of us uh, talking about what is this Bunky thing? It's uh, We'll explain it all tonight. Uh, what's the big deal about Bunkies? Who are they for? How we help people? That type of thing. We're going to get into it all. And then, of course, we'll take questions at the end. So um, it's interactive. I can see your comments when you comment them to me. For example, hello, Aaron from Al Alanson and uh, someone from Pickney. 
Uh, I can't see everybody's name and picture, but I can see uh, your comments. So Jennifer from Sault Ste. Marie. Fantastic. I love Sault Ste. Marie. Um, we got Shar from Matawan, Michigan. So yeah, if you're tuning in and, and you want to interact, that's great. If you just want to kind of watch as well, that's great. My name is David Fraser. I'm the founder of Bunky Life, as, as I mentioned in the video. And we're going to talk a little bit about what is a Bunky. Um, but I want to first talk about the, the greater context. So right now, um, due to over overwhelming demand, we had a ton of um, emails this past three, four months uh, where we did a contest where we gave Bunky away and everyone's saying, why is it just for Canadians? What about us Michiganders? You're leaving us out. You're our neighbors to the north. What's going on? So we decided let's do a Michigan only Bunky giveaway. So that's what's happening right now. Most of the viewers are probably from that contest. So it's going to be um, announced live, similar to this, on Facebook and YouTube um, on Sunday the 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll be announcing it live. Hopefully you get the person on the phone. It'll be really a lot of fun. And so um, that's how that's going to go down. And in between now and then, there'll be live streams like this. And if you participate in them, you can earn extra chances to win. I want to go into that in just a second. So, um, so that's the agenda tonight talk a little bit about the contest and then we'll talk about bunkies briefly and then take take questions all right so that's the idea now someone commented uh i created an airbnb space with a 16 foot bell tent my township had a problem with it because there's a tent and that made me a campground which wasn't allowed i'm looking to the bunkie because that would be allowed okay interesting i'm i'm wondering what township you're in that's uh super super interesting we got some bay city michigan there's bay city okay cool welcome tracy so let's uh let's talk about the, the contest and how to get points okay so here's how to earn extra chances to win for watching this live stream. So you're gonna watch it obviously, check. <laughs> if, you're, if you're watching this video, check. Okay, so whether you're watching it live or the recording of it later, that's cool either way. You have until the end of the contest to, to watch this video. So at some point I'm gonna say a code word. I'll be very clear. The code word is, and then I will say the code word. So you have to listen for the code word and then you're gonna to go to the contest scoreboard, which is bunkylife.com slash bunky dash contest dash scoreboard. And you're gonna enter this code word in, and I'll, I'll, I'll actually do it live so you can understand um, how to do it, okay? So just be paying attention during the live streams because I'll be mentioning a code word in each one. There's a total of four live streams. So tonight, next Tuesday, the Tuesday after that, and a bonus one on a Thursday before the contest closes. So while we're on the topic, um, if you could, uh, if you could share this live stream, that'd be fantastic. If you got a share button somewhere around it, it'll help get the word out about what's happening. And, uh, and of course, sharing the, the, the um, contest with other people will also get you extra points too, okay? So that's I'll explain how to get the extra chances towards the end, and I'll say the code word as well. But before we get to that, I'd like to talk about um, just tonight's presentation, which is what the heck is a bunkie? So let's, let's get into that right now. Everyone can see that okay? Okay. All right, so... There's me and my family, or I guess not the whole family. I've had a son since then, but that's me and my three daughters. And what Bunky Life really ultimately about is family life. We're a small family business located in Rockwood, Ontario. Kind of think like just outside of Toronto, not too far from Detroit, Michigan. Um, and I actually grew up just outside of Port Huron, Michigan on the Canadian side. And my wife is, a, is from Windsor, just, just outside of Detroit. Um, and so things are, things we're proud of. We've been featured on HGTV's Family Home Overall, CTV's Made Right Here. And then, not too long ago, we were on Dragon's Den. If I could put that in context for you Amer Americans, that's basically the Canadian equivalent of Shark Tank. So we are on that, and you can watch that episode as well. And I've also written a book called Bunky Life Extra Space, which is a lot of awesome testimonials and stories and photos of our clients' experience building bunkies, my own family's journey and story, which I'll go into um, as well. Um, and also we put out Bunky Life Connection cards, which are fun little playing cards for the home or the cottage. And you can, um, there are also little, little conversation starting questions on each each um, card. We're also pretty proud of the fact that we've raised over $120,000 for Ronald McDonald House Charities. And also completed, I think, I think it's over 10 Make-A-Wish builds now. But ultimately, we're most proud of the success of our Bunky Life clients. And let me explain what that is. I'll, I'll play a little story of someone that had some awesome success with the Bunky two summers ago. Bunky Life uh, 2019 No Loft. Uh, basically up in a day. It's like putting Lego together. 
and uh, it's been just a, a great experience. Great instructions, everything, everything fell into place the way it should. Yeah, the delivery, we, we came here one day and it was delivered to the house or to the cottage in less than a week and it was up uh, almost the day after it was delivered. So how did Bunky Life start, you may be wondering. So essentially, much like a lot of you here, I had a problem. The problem was I had our first daughter, Evie, and she uh, took up the last, the only guest bedroom we had. We had a three-bedroom house, and we had a kid that took up the the, be the only bedroom, extra bedroom we had. And so it became a question of where the heck are we going to put my parents? So my parents lived down near Sarnia. And Carrie's parents lived down near Windsor at the time. And it was like, where are we going to put these people when they want to come see their grandkids? And so um, that's what happened. Basically, uh, we, were, we ran out of space. And so we looked into different options. We looked into tents. We looked into tiny homes. We looked into yurts. We looked into a bunch of different things. And we came upon the idea of a bunkie. So we built our very first bunkie in 2015 now. Um, this is my father, my father-in-law, and myself putting the, the foundation together for a bunkie. I started renting them out on Airbnb and got really great reviews. People were super excited and I built a bunch more. So this is, uh, and people started going, Hey, Dave, get me a bunkie. I want a bunkie. Make me one. And that's when Bunkie Life officially started in 2017 with the dream of helping create a world where families everywhere have a place to unite and wind and unplug. We're now coast to coast across Canada and select parts of the USA, such as Michigan and California and New York and Vermont. But what is a bunkie? <laughs> That's the whole point tonight, right? So what a bunkie basically is, is it seems the name seems to come from Ontario, although I can't prove that, but basically it's a short form of bunkhouse. It's like a small, basically little building or a little little shack that you would throw extra extra guests in or extra space maybe it's your it's your office maybe it's your studio but it's basically the short form of a bunkhouse it's like an extra bedroom of the cottage or in the backyard it doesn't generally have a washroom or kitchen but sometimes people have added those type of things um, and they're often in, in Canada, they're often under about 100 square feet, you know, 10 square meters, 107 square feet. Um, or in Michigan, it seems like 200 square feet is the sweet spot. And what's the big deal about these bunkies? Well, the bunkies that we make are very easy to build. There's my father-in-law, my, my lovely wife there building uh, the kit there. And so everything's pre-cut. They all interlock together. Everything's included. There's no measuring. And so what it it allows you to do is build a, a really beautiful structure on the inside and the out side very easily with basically no skill. So <laughs> let's uh, let's look at this. This is, this is uh, some clients building their bunkie, inexperience, first time ever, building their bunkie in a weekend. So as you can see, there's not a lot to it. You're basically putting Lego kits together, or if you guys know Lincoln Logs, it's like a big life-size Lincoln Log set. So with a little bit of a rubber mallet, you can pound the blocks down and the windows slide in in a similar way and it creates a really fun, easy to build, beautiful finished product. So they finish very beautifully on the inside and the outside. This is um, some photos of an actual bunkie uh, at my house and it's called our Haven Bunkie with Loft. And what the end result is that you've got extra space for what really matters. More time with your family, more c connection time with people that, um, you know, otherwise wouldn't be able to come and visit. So who are bunkies for? Now, there's tons of different people that we serve, but this, the main bulk of our clients tend to be busy, hardworking business owners, professionals, um, teachers, things like that, people that own a family cottage in a lot of cases, or they have a big backyard with some acreage, or even just a, a, a decent sized backyard in suburbia. Um, they're looking to add to their income stream as well in some cases, but basically they're trying to solve the exact problem that, that Carrie and I had, which is where are we gonna put our family? 
So here's how we help. Um, you're currently on a live stream with me right now, um, and we want to be the leaders in creating extra helpful content. Um, you know, video, videos like this where I explain what your options are. We want to help people through the planning process, through the building process. How do you how do you go about going from having nothing in your backyard to having a bunkie? It's it's a journey, and we want to help you. We want to be that trusted go-to source for helpful information, whether you end up buying from us or not. And a lot of people do because they realize, hey, if, if I can trust Dave uh, with the learning process, I can also trust David and his team with the, the ordering process and the building process, and they're going to be there for me every step of the way. We're, we're famous for our easy-to-build kits, as I mentioned earlier. They're beautiful on the inside and the out. They're built in a weekend. A lot of times they don't need a permit in a lot of areas. Obviously, check with your local mafia, but uh, they're also very inexpensive in terms of, um, you know, most people don't need to uh, sell a kidney to get one of these. Um, we also offer uh, kind of a built-for-you bunkie service. So we've got a large network of contractors all across North America that's building up so they can come in and just do it for you. Um, and we also have options if you want to insulate the bunkie, bring it to a year-round use. Um, there's lots of people that are doing that uh, all across Canada now and, and even uh, into the States. And that's kind of how the doors and the windows and everything slide in together in a nice, easy way and you get a great finished wood structure at the end. But ultimately, we help people get their time back with the people who matter most. We're really in the business of helping families create extra space for a more meaningful connection. We're also a very thriving community. So um, we have a private group of over 1,200 Bunky Life clients and their, and their friends and family. Um, we have a lot of volunteer opportunities, things like the Make-A-Wish build that I mentioned earlier. You can volunteer your time. You can participate in just helping each other out. We have in-person events like our Bunky Life Barbecue that we do every year. Um, and for those of you who um, want to give back, there's lots of opportunities to do things like that. Ultimately, can't wait to serve you as a Bunky Life client if you think you might be a fit. Not everyone's going to be the right fit for us. We get it. But... Uh, for the people that are, we look forward to the idea of serving you. That's pretty much in a nutshell what the Bunky thing's all about. There's lots of questions. I can see them already popping up in the comments. We'll get to them for sure. Um, so, um, but as, as a nutsh as a big kind of overview, that's kind of what the Bunky, um, that's what the Bunky life thing's all about. So I'm going to mention the code word in just a second, but the place to go to enter it to get credit for participating is bunkylife.com slash bunky contest scoreboard. That's where you'll enter the code word. So Tracy says, that is so cool. Kristen Hinton says, I love this. I need my own office and a space for fam family to stay in away from my animals. Exactly. So that's, that's like a, they're very multi-purpose. So they can kind of scratch your itch during the week for an office space. And then on the weekend, you're going to have guests, um, that's what my actual original bunkie is. It's my office mostly, but I can crash people there if need be. Someone asked, what about a pooper? Okay, well, we actually have a, a little bathroom bunkie that we sell as well. Renice says, they make it look so easy to build. They really are a very easy, fun build with two or three people helping out. Okay, so let me talk a little bit about what's going to happen between now and the end of the contest. We're going to have live streams just like this. Uh, really informal, just chatting, and they're going to happen every Tuesday and then one Thursday right before the contest closes. Let me show the the, the, the calendar. So uh, so this is tonight, live stream number one, What is a Bunkie? And then a week from today at 8 p.m. as well, we'll have another one called How to Build the Best Bunkie. We'll go into all your details, questions about how to build, and it'll be fantastic. And then um, the following Tuesday... We'll have Bunky Boost Enhancement Ideas. That's all the cool things you can add on to a Bunky to turn into an office. All the things you can add on to turn into, um, you know, a different um, spaces like say you need to heat it or cool it. What, what do you do about stain or roofing? How do you make it, you know, how, how, how do you have great furniture? And then on Thursday the 27th, I'll talk about the inspiration behind Bunky Life, which is my family's personal story, how we got into business, and the reason behind why we do what we do so intentionally. And of course, that's the winner on the 30th, uh, which is Sunday. And then we're going to have a little Michigander only sale. Okay, so check that out. It's going to be a week long. It's going to be fantastic. We'll talk about insulation as well during the uh, how to build 
someone was asking about that too. So, all right. So we haven't said the code word yet, but people are asking about the code word, but let's get into questions. If you've got a question, this is live. I'm live. I'm here for you. Comment below. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitch, I will see the comment and I will respond to it. And I'm not going to leave until I answer everyone's question. So scroll back a bit. Aaron says, I love your personal story, heartbreaking and heartwarming at the same time. Well, Aaron, you're, you're reading ahead, but that's great. Um, so uh, I'll share that on the, the date, I think is the 27th. Thursday, the 27th, I'll share our family story. Mary says, it'd be great to have one up north near my brother's. Yes, absolutely. Up north. Got the place up north. Daryl says, I've came, I came, can see a ton of great options for this for extra space for the family. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so great question. Is the roofing included? Yes. The roof deck boards are included and a door lock. Yes. The, uh, all the hardware is included. Um, the window hardware and the door lock, everything that's included. Um, you will need to put shingles or metal, like a finish on the roof, but, um, but beyond that, everything's fin everything's included. We'll help you order the roof finish, but it's going to be cheaper or locally. So the three things you need to, to add to the bunkie to get it fully complete are stain. It's got to stain your color of choice. You got to put a finish on the roof, and then you got to put it on something flat. So a cement pad's fine. We'll go into this later, but you know there's a couple different options of how to do the foundation. But great question, Facebook user. Gene Hanka says, we'd love to have it at our cottage in the UP for family. Fantastic. Where in the UP are you guys? I know it's a big, it's a big area. I, I like chatting with our UP clients because they're super friendly, uh, chatty kind of people. Very, very, uh, very Northern Canadian. I think same kind of rural, awesome people. Uh, Daryl says, or just to get away, Scott, away from my family. <laughs> okay. So maybe reconnecting with yourself. That's cool. What are the additional costs of insulated bunky? It just depends on how hardcore you want to go. If you want to bring it up to say 3.9 seasons, it's comfortable most most of the year. Not that much, maybe like 500 to 1,000 bucks. And I'll explain that next next uh, week. Dave says, and even for, for Camp Ford, my 34 acre property, Camp Ford, that sounds awesome. What's it take to insulate these? We'll go into that, um, but if you type in, actually, let me just, I'll show you, um, I'll show you a little s a screenshot here. So if you go on our website, there's actually stuff just about how to insulate and how to heat a bunkie. So I'll, I'll start you off there. Um, so if you go to bunkylife.com, let me share the screen for a sec. Because great question, Kirsten. So if you go to bunkylife.com and click on FAQ, there's a lot of really frequently asked questions. That's one of them. So how to insulate a bunkie. Bam, it's right there. There's some really great information. Um, I'm, doing my, I'm doing my roof here in this video. There's also a great video about how to do a floor and then a guy that lives in his bunkie full-time in Canada. So that's a, a very interesting video of kind of what's possible with a, with a bunkie life bunkie. Shipping costs. That's a great question. And uh, without knowing your situation, I can't answer it directly, but um, we can ship to most places in Michigan for a really reasonable price, like well, well under a thousand dollars. But without knowing, you, know, you might be like up on a hill on a mountainside or something. So just email us and we can get you a free quote. Kristen, said, Kristen says we have crazy winters. Guess what? <laughs> in Canada, we too have crazy winters. And uh, and that's what they're made for. They're made in Canada for, for people uh, of the north. So, yeah. So it says great mother-in-law house. Fantastic. No comment. I have a great... I actually have a great mother-in-law, so I can't... Uh... Are there regulations in Michigan as to how close you can install in your resident and how much land is required? I know that does differ... Uh, by uh, by county to county, um, so um, I can't answer that directly, but you know it, I'll help you do your due diligence. Gene said I couldn't get the dragons lend to, d dragons den link to work. Is it just me? I don't know. Is anyone else having problems with the links on the contest page? Can it be here with the wood burning stove? Yep, lots of people do that. Lori, great question. A room for you. These are beautiful. That's cool. Thanks, Charlotte. That's very kind. Youpers are very friendly. The Youpers! That's true. That is very true. And, and that's the same thing with Canada. As soon as you get out of the GTA, everyone just chills out. They're so nice. But if you go to if you go to um, the greater Toronto area and you think that's what Canadians are like, we're not like that. We're we're more like Youpers, uh, for sure. The Youpers. 
Manny says, hello from BC. We're excited to build our hideaway this summer. Awesome. Just waiting for the snow to clear so we can get cracking on the site. Great to hear from you, Mandy. Look forward to uh, to getting those photos from you. There's no permit to build in the city of Redford. I don't know. That's a question for you and your local mafia, Facebook user. Jeff says, April 28th, pick up Michelle. I can't wait. That's awesome, buddy. Good. To, I may, might be there to see you. Hopefully, I'll be at the factory to, to, to greet you. Um, Kristen says, thank you for the information. It's great. I'm right on Lake Michigan, and making this an office and extra space for family would be a great option. Well, I look forward to that. Happen. Hopefully, you win the, the free bunkie, but if not, maybe we can serve you as a client. If, 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 if we're the right fit for each other. <laughs> Daryl says, youpers unite. <laughs> okay, someone says the link worked fine for me. Someone else says it wouldn't work for me either. My question for the people that it's not working for, have you tried it on, are you trying it on a cell phone or are you trying it on your computer? Because I was trying it on my cell phone and it worked, but it wasn't slick. Uh, whereas on my desktop, it worked every time. So that's my one question for you. These are good questions, everyone. I'd like to share with you, though, how to get the points for this live stream. Okay, so let's uh, take a break. But if you got, if you got questions, fire them in here or comments. But let's go into. I'll, I'll show you how to enter the contest in case you haven't entered and you're from Michigan. But let's let's try it. I'll, I'll go from how to enter and then how to get the points, and then how to get the points specifically for watching this live stream. So, okay, so you're going to go to bunkylife.com to, to enter the contest. You go to Bunky Life, Mich oh, sorry, Bunky Contest, Michigan. So I typed in bunky-contest-michigan. This takes you to this landing page. A lot of you have probably seen this, and you've already done this, but this is, this is just for you. Um... Hold on, I gotta do this on a new window because otherwise it'll say I'm already entered. So, okay, so you go to Bunky Desk on just says Michigan. You enter your name, Uper Man, Uper at gmail.com is playing out. So, I'm gonna have to delete this entry later. It's just a test one. So, if you are a resident of Michigan, that's what you need to enter. Click yes, I'm a resident of Michigan, then click enter to win. Alternatively, you can just click enter with Facebook if you're a Facebook user, but um, I'm gonna click enter to win right here. Okay, so that's how you enter. And then once you do that, it will take you to the contest scoreboard page, all right? And this is where you can take action. So you can watch us on Dragon's Den, you can answer the questionnaire, but the thing that we're doing tonight is called, what is a bunkie? So that's what we're doing tonight. Um, it's a beginner's guide to bunkie, so you're gonna click watch the live stream so when you click here it's going to open up a second box and what has to happen is you have to um, click on this link which will take you to another page and as soon as this is over i'm gonna have i'm gonna have a video here to watch for those of you who are watching after the fact it'll be it'll be on this page bunkylife.com tv you can watch it and listen for the code word and then you're gonna enter the code word here okay so i'm gonna tell you what the code word is the to code word is youper Y O O P E R. The code word is Uper. So if you do that and click confirm, you'll notice here now that I've gotten the 250 points for watching this live stream. And I look up here, it now says instead of 50, I've got 300 chances to win. And you can repeat this process for all the different actions, like what, like um, you know, joining the Facebook group, um, watching different videos, how to determine a quality bunkie, that that type of thing. So all these are actions that you earn extra points by doing. And the biggest, bestest way to earn extra points is by sharing this link at the very bottom. You can copy and paste it, text it to them, uh, Facebook it to them, put it by ser carrier pigeon, whatever you got to do. If you know someone in Michigan that would benefit from a bunkie, share this contest with them and you'll get an extra 200 points. And you can do that on a limited amount of times. Each person who enters will get you 200 extra chances to win. I'm saying points. I'm saying chances to win interchangeably. They're the same thing. Is that helpful? Does that make sense, everyone? Is that, that do you understand how the the basic idea works? So at the end of the uh, you know the contest on the thirtieth, I'll be announcing the winner. And the way that it works is, uh, for each chance, every point you have, it's an extra chance to win. So it'll randomly draw someone's name, but the more chances you have to win, the more likely your name is to be drawn. And that's how it works. And it's fair. 
So it's not most points wins, but the more points you have, the more chances you have. So that's kind of the idea. All right, so the code word tonight is youper. Someone says, I'm afraid I'll miss the code word. Video keeps breaking up and I'm missing stuff. Oh, that, that, that's a bummer. But um, the code word is youper. Youper man. <laughs> that's the one. Christine asks, can you live in the bunkie year round? I would say, I mean, people are doing it. There's a good handful of people across Canada using a bunkie as their full-time dwelling. It's not for the faint of heart. And there's also a lot of government red tape trying to stop people, at least here in Canada. They try, at least try to prevent that. God forbid people have an affordable place to live in Canada. Um, but I digress. So um, can you live in year round? The answer is, it really depends on a lot of your situation. You want to insulate the crap out of it. You want to have a good heat source. You want to have some type of off-grid power or on-grid power. And you 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 got to be a hardy individual. So um, it's not for the faint of heart. Of course, the further south you are, if you're like southern Michigan, it gets nicer, right? Um, the easier it goes. But if you're a up here, you're basically a Canadian at this point. So you got to be hardy. Car Cav says, Royal Oak, Michigan. I'd love one for my land up in the UP. Our current camp is in rough shape. Oh, that is cool. So the UPers call their their rural properties their camp too. That's what Northern Ontario and Northern Canadians call their cottage. They call it camp. All right. Facebook. I need it more, you dude. <laughs> okay. Lori says, which tab am I supposed to put the code word in? I did it, I did it live. Do you see that? If you didn't and need me to do it again, I'll, I can. But watch the video. You can re, you can rewind and watch this video later. Justice says, appreciate the opportunity. I have a friend with a property that hosts barn and rustic weddings. This would be great for a honeymoon cabin. Absolutely. We have a lot of clients that uh, utilize the bunkies for income or to add value to their business. So, yes. Yeah, 10 by 10 is pretty small for permanent living. So, we have some bunkies that have a loft. So, it's like 10 by 10 plus like say 80 to Sometimes, in some cases, 120, so it's like, you know, 200 square feet. And we also have 10 by 16 bunkies as well now that are 160 square feet. So Lori says, yes, I did. You want me to do it again? Let me show you again. Okay. So let's go back. So Lori, we're going to show you how to edit. So you're going to go to the contest scoreboard page, which I hope you can find. Um, make sure that you see this this screen here. If not, you might have to re-enter or re-sign back in using your email. Um, and then you're going to click on watch the live stream. What is a bunkie? Then you're going to scroll down to what is the code word and type in youper. Then click confirm. That's how you get the points. Does that make sense? Okay. Awesome. Well, this has been a very illuminating live stream. I hope it's been beneficial. I might play one more song if you have a song request. And then I'm going to sign off because I'm actually traveling to Oklahoma tomorrow. I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Uh, um, yeah, I'm very excited to be in Oklahoma tomorrow. So, um, someone says, yes, but perfect for an Airbnb. Yes. So that's how I got started. As I mentioned, have a little Airbnb, also extra space for my mom. And then it goes there. Lori says, those choices are not there. Hmm. Are you seeing enter to win? If you're seeing enter to win, then you'll have to re- where you put in your email, like basically to sign in again. Shar says, I'm not seeing the contest info. Let me show you how to get there. Um, you got to go to, I'll type this in for you. Okay, Shar, just bear with me. Bunkylife.com slash bunky dash contest dash Michigan. That's the URL. Type that into your, your browser and you'll get right to the Michigan page. Someone says verve pipe. Okay, we might be able to do that. Okay. Lori says, I'll get it. I like that determination. You'll make it happen. Someone says, please play Southern Cross. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know that one. Youpers. Play Fleetwood Mac. I like the idea of playing Fleetwood Mac. Um, okay. Bear with me. I'm going to grab... Red Hot Chili Peppers, both good. Okay, okay, Char says, got it. Okay, good. Look at the window, beautiful sunset. I think the sun is already down here in Ontario. Boo. Okay. Um, 
Let's see if I can get some Fleetwood Mac going on. I need a capo. Bear with me. Please hold. Dave is finding a capo. Do not leave. He's finding a capo. Okay, so that code word once again. I took my love, I took it down. I climbed a mountain, I turned around. And I saw my reflection. Yeah, got in the right key. Saw my reflection in the snow covered hills. Well, a landslide brought me down. Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? Can a child in my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean's tide? Share this with your friends, and we'll see you again real soon. Have a great evening.